Okay, so on this edition of uh, Outdoor Zombies, I'm going to build and sleep in a debris shelter. Okay, I thought I'd do a quick update. Like I said, you're not going to see me cutting things, but... So that's the start of the bed. Of course, I need, you know, I'll probably get uh, three or four more logs and uh, then start covering it with boughs. This is wet right to the core. What I'm going to use this for is I'm going to build a reflector by it. My fire is going to be, it's just going to be a small fire. It's going to be right, right there. And, uh, uh, and then I'm going to, of course, finish the, the frame. I'm just starting with the bed first. Okay, back to work. So, I think four is going to be enough for me because I'm going to cover that with boughs and then uh, I'm going to put a small tarp on top. I, I do have another tarp that's going to go over the frame. Uh, and I think I'll be fine. They're a little longer on the ends, but uh, it's not important. It's, I mean, I can cut them off, but uh, this will work out perfectly for me. What I'm doing right now is, is packing down uh, the boughs in between the cracks there. So it'll cut once it covered all that's covered in Then I'll start putting more layers on top. Okay, so I just stopped for a break and uh, This is what I got so far from my bed Still gonna pile that up uh, higher because when I get in this it's gonna it's gonna be nature's version of a nice comfortable mattress So I got the ridge pole in place um, there's, of course, better ways to do what I just did there, but uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I'm not going to tie the ribs in place because, as uh, from Charlie's video, if you need to get out of it in a, in a hurry, you just kick everything off. Except the ridge pole. I'm sure I can kick that off too because it's not mounted at the bottom. I'm not done with this yet, but I'm going to put the ribs on this now. Okay, so this is what I got so far. I left a large opening there, probably higher than I than I should, because uh, the idea is you want to keep this as low as possible, because it's less space to heat. But I plan on sitting up most of the night, well not most of the night, but pretty late, on the bed of uh, boughs by the fire, so I want it to, you know, have to squat my head down. I'm going to put a few more ribs in, and then I'm going to throw the tarp on top, and then uh, start uh, throwing some debris on it. Okay, so I just laid the tarp over. It still needs to be uh, uh, adjusted, of course. You can see the back, there's an opening. That definitely has to be fixed. Um, I have so many tarps, it's not even funny. And these were, this tarp here is a 9x12. I think I paid like three, four bucks for it. So, I don't mind cutting it. And in fact, uh, I may end up using it again for this exact purpose, so there will already be a door cut out. So I'm pretty much done. I, uh, you know, not much of a heat shield, but I have packed some, some moss and stuff between the logs. I'll get a close-up of it. And I'm only going to have a small, small fire. Starting to collect some wood there now. Uh, as far as the shelter, still want to do a little bit more here and the other side uh, has nothing on it yet. I mean, it'd be fine, totally fine uh, without it. Uh, I have a really good sleeping bag, but you know, I start a job, you gotta finish it, right? So. Well, I got the fire going. I got the, uh, as you can see, I got a uh, uh, heat reflector. I'm just sitting in the entrance uh, to my um, debris shelter. Okay, so I'm in bed. Um, comments? Well, uh, the bed is actually like the bottom part that I built is good. Um, nothing's poking through. Uh, although, I mean, I do have a tarp underneath me and then the fleece blanket and the sleeping bags. 
it's a very tight fit very tight that's the idea of course but I wasn't expecting like uh, this tight but I mean it's good because less to, less room as I said before to have to heat up and I'm not really in this other sleeping bag because it's that tight of a fit. I'm having trouble getting in it, but I'm going to have to. So I'll give that another go in a moment. Just want to give you an idea how tight fitting this is. Oh, I'll tell you, it, you learn a lot by actually doing. And uh, I am not going to freeze at all. I, I'm just in my outer uh, sleeping bag and my feet were freezing when I got in here and now they're they're not toasty but hence I got I really got to get into the uh, down bag but as I said it's a learning experience these uh, ribs uh, there's some knots like right here that I should have taken should have took care of when I was putting it together um, but whatever, it's all good. I'm getting a uh, sap on me. But it smells great in here. You got some, uh, you know, it's like I'm sleeping with a Christmas tree. <laughs> ah, shoot. Oh, I love this. My feet down there are warming up. I can just see so much way, so, so many ways to improve this. Uh, the bed that I designed was fine. There was nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, remember this is this is an emergency type of shelter. You probably are not going to be carrying a nine by twelve tarp with you. Um, you know, you're probably not even going to have any plastic or anything to drape over like this. So. Uh, You know, you're gonna do what you can to survive. You're you're gonna get as many boughs on here and leaves if it's in the fall, and uh, try to insulate it the best you can. Lots of good pieces of wood left over from last night, so something to work with. to almost 12 o'clock the next day um, it, it seems like it's raining but it's not there's accumulated snow up on some branches up there and it's been dripping on me for the past hour it's not a lot but just enough that it's a little bit of an irritant uh, as far as this shelter is concerned um, I woke up a few times uh, because it was cold the first part uh, was because I didn't get in my uh, down sleeping bag. It was just in the outer bag, and I just had my down sleeping bag on top of me. Uh, I, I wasn't. It wasn't. A, I wasn't majorly cold, but just enough that it woke me up. Once I got into the down sleeping bag, uh, it was much better. Um, so as far as this, uh, I've slept much better. <laughs> much more comfortably in a hammock than than in this debris shelter and does that mean the debris shelter can't be as comfortable no it doesn't it could be probably 10 times more comfortable than a hammock um, it's just uh, this is my version 1.0 like I said the last time I made one of these was uh, when I was a kid I was an air cadets so uh, I need to get into more of this I'm gonna try a lean-to next time um, and uh, see how that goes. So, it's probably most of this winter, anytime I come out, I'm going to be uh, camping in some sort of structure, a lean-to. I'm going to modify this um, to something larger. Won't really be uh, a debris shelter uh, as far as uh, the concept of it being 
a small enclosed space, just enough for you to slide in. And this was. Uh, the head area could have been lower, but I, you know, like you see me sitting here, I wanted to, I wanted to sit at the, uh, at the entrance like this, so I can tend to the fire. The fire was great. Uh, I just lucked out because the smoke had not once headed toward me inside the uh, shelter, so that's good. This uh, fire reflector here, not bad. Um, I will touch it up next time. So I'm getting ready to leave, so I'm going to of course take my take this down take the tarp because I'm going to reuse this tarp again and uh, head on out so um, if you have any comments on this which I really hope you do just uh, leave them down below um, before I uh, before I end I'd like to challenge NL Ghost Wolf who I got this idea from with the tarp to this winter to uh, construct one and again and uh, sleep out in it. And uh, I know that you can do it, NL Ghost Wolf. I just I want you to do it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see, and uh, it'd be a good video for you to put up. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why. Um, please subscribe. Please share. And uh, until next time, happy trails.